Google Anti-Gravity. From beginner to expert in 10 minutes. Today I'm gonna to show you something wild. Google has a hidden feature that nobody talks about. It's called Google Anti-Gravity and it's gonna blow your mind. This thing is free, easy to use, and most people have no idea it exists. By the end of this video, you'll be an expert. All right, let's dive into Google Anti-Gravity. Now I need to be real with you here. Google Anti-Gravity is actually an Easter egg. It's a fun hidden feature that Google created years ago. When you search for it or type in the right URL, all the elements on the Google homepage start floating around. You can click and drag them. They bounce off each other. It's like physics, but on your screen. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. But here's why I'm making this video. Most people think it's just a toy, just something to waste time with, but there's actually a bigger lesson here about how Google works, how web pages are built, and how you can use these concepts to understand the internet better. Now, and when you understand the internet better, you can use AI tools to automate your business in ways most people never think about. Let me show you exactly how this works. First, you go to your browser, type in Google anti-gravity, or search for Mr. Doob at Google. Mr. Doob is the developer who created a lot of these Google experiments. When you land on the page, everything looks normal for about one second, then boom. The Google logo starts falling, the search bar drops, the buttons float away, everything on the page becomes interactive. You can grab the logo and throw it around. You can stack the buttons on top of each other. It's using JavaScript and HTML5 to make everything move. The physics engine makes it feel real. When something hits the edge of your screen, it bounces back. When two items collide, they react like real objects would. Now here's where it gets interesting for business owners and marketers. This same technology that makes Google anti-gravity work is what powers interactive websites. Think about landing pages that have animations. Think about websites where things move when you scroll. Think about interactive demos that let people play with your product. All of that uses similar code to what you're seeing in Google anti-gravity. So when I'm building landing pages for the AI Profit Boardroom, I think about engagement. How do I keep people on the page? How do I make them interact with the content? How do I show them the value of AI automation in a way that's not boring? Interactive elements are a huge part of that. And understanding how these elements work helps you communicate better with developers, with AI tools, and with website builders. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Google Anti-Gravity. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Let me give you a practical example. Let's say you want to create a landing page for the AI Profit Boardroom that explains how AI automation can transform your business. So you could just put text on a page. That's what most people do. But what if you made it interactive? What if when someone scrolls, different AI tools pop up on the screen? What if they can click and drag examples of automation workflows? What if the page itself shows them what automation feels like? That's the power of understanding web technology. And here's the crazy part. You don't need to code anymore with AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and new website builders, you can describe what you want and the AI creates it for you. You can say, I want a landing page with floating elements that show different AI automation tools, make them interactive, let users click on them to see examples, and the AI builds it. But you can only ask for this stuff if you know it exists. That's why learning about things like Google anti-gravity matters. It opens your mind to what's possible. It shows you that websites don't have to be static and boring. They can be alive, they can move, they can engage people in ways that make them stay longer and take action. Now let me show you some other Google Easter eggs that teach you useful concepts. There's Google Gravity, you learn same idea as anti-gravity, but everything falls down instead of floating. There's Google Underwater, where everything moves like it's in water. There's Google Sphere, where all the search results spin around you in three dimensions. Each one of these teaches you something about web design, user experience, and engagement. Google Gravity shows you how elements can respond to physics. This is useful when you're thinking about animations on your website. Should things slide in from the top? Should they fall into place? Understanding gravity effects helps you make better design choices. Google Underwater shows you how to create immersive experiences. When someone visits your site, 
Do you want them to feel like they're entering a different world? That's what good branding does. Google Sphere shows you how to present information in three dimensions. This is huge for product showcases and portfolios. Here's what I want you to understand. Every single one of these Easter eggs was created by developers who understand code. But now with AI, you don't need to be a developer. You just need to know what's possible. You need to see examples. You need to understand the concepts. Then you can tell an AI what you want and it builds it for you. This is exactly what we teach in the AI Profit Boardroom, how to use AI tools to automate your business without needing to code, how to create websites, landing pages, and marketing materials that look professional and convert visitors into customers, how to save hundreds of hours by letting AI do the heavy lifting while you focus on strategy and growth. Let me give you another practical example. Let's say you're creating a demo page for a new service. You want to show potential customers exactly how your service works. Most people will create a video or write out a bunch of text. But what if you made it interactive? What if you use the same technology behind Google Anti-Gravity to let people actually play with a demo version of your product right on the page? Here's how you do it with AI. You'd go to ChatGPT or Claude. You'd say, I need an interactive demo page for my AI automation service. When someone lands on the page, show them a visual representation of a workflow. Let them drag and drop different automation tools into the workflow. When they connect two tools, show an animation of data flowing between them. Make it feel like they're actually building something. The AI would generate the code for you. You'd copy and paste it into your website builder and boom. You have an interactive demo that engages people way more than a static page ever could. This is the power of combining web technology knowledge with AI tools. You become unstoppable. Now let's talk about why engagement matters so much. When someone lands on your website, you have about three seconds to grab their attention. Three seconds. If your page is boring, they're gone, they hit the back button and you never hear from them again. But if your page is interesting, if it moves, if it does something unexpected, they stick around, they explore, they engage, and engaged visitors are way more likely to become customers. But here's the secret. With AI tools, you can create that same level of polish for almost nothing. You can use AI to generate animations. You can use AI to write code for interactive elements. You can use AI to design layouts that convert. You just need to know what to ask for. And that's where studying things like Google Anti-Gravity comes in. It shows you what's possible. It gives you ideas. It helps you understand the building blocks of great web design. Then you take those ideas and you use AI to bring them to life for your business. Let me give you one more example before we move on. Let's say you're creating an email campaign for the AI Profit Boardroom. You wanna show people all the different ways they can use AI automation in their business. Most people would send a plain text email with a list, boring, nobody reads those anymore. But what if you embedded an interactive element in the email? What if when someone opens the email, they see a mini version of Google Anti-Gravity, but with AI tool logos instead of Google logos, so they can click and drag the tools around. Each tool has a label. When they click on a tool, it expands to show a quick example of how that tool saves time and grows businesses. That email gets opened, that email gets clicked, that email drives people to sign up. And you can build something like that using AI. You describe what you want, the AI writes the code, you, you test it, you tweak it, you send it out. That's the future of marketing. That's how you stand out in a world where everyone is doing the same boring stuff. Now here's something most people don't know about Google Anti-Gravity and these other Easter eggs. Google created them to test technology. They weren't just making fun toys, they were experimenting with JavaScript libraries, HTML5 features and physics engines. These experiments helped Google engineers learn what worked and what didn't. Some of that technology ended up in Google's actual products. Here's another cool thing about Google Anti-Gravity. It works on mobile too. If you open it on your phone, you can tilt your device and the elements respond to gravity. Tilt left and everything slides left. Tilt right and everything slides right. It's using your phone's accelerometer. This is the same technology that powers mobile games and apps. Why does this matter for business? Because more than half of web traffic comes from mobile now. If your website doesn't work well on mobile, you're losing customers. Understanding how mobile interactions work helps you create better mobile experiences, and better mobile experiences mean more sales. When I'm building landing pages for the AI Profit Boardroom, I always test on mobile first. I make sure buttons are easy to tap, I make sure text is easy to read, I make sure any interactive elements work smoothly on a small screen. This attention to detail is what separates amateur websites from professional ones, and with AI tools, you can get professional results without hiring expensive developers. 
Let me talk about the technology behind Google Anti-Gravity for a minute. It uses a JavaScript library called Box2D. This is a physics engine that simulates real-world physics in two dimensions. Game developers use it, web developers use it, app developers use it. It calculates collisions, gravity, friction, and momentum. That's why when you throw the Google logo in Anti-Gravity, it moves realistically. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Google Anti-Gravity. And if you want the full process, SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab.